on RV Trader. This is not an ad for RV Trader, by the way, but if they want to sponsor me, I don't know who runs the website, but <laughs> let me spill the tea. Wow. We drink some tea. You should be particular. You are buying a home on wheels. I'm on the RV hunt, so I hope I can find something I really like. I pretty much instantly booked a flight. I'm so excited. I just discovered something new in my RV. This little cute window. Let me show you. So I just discovered that this window pops open. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, what a cool discovery. That's so cute. The one on the other side does the same, so I'm so excited. How cute. Hello, hello. It's a beautiful day. Today in RV um, life videos, I don't know what I'm saying. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I found my vintage RV. Thank you guys so much for coming along on the journey with me. And I can't wait to share how I found my RV. And I hope that this will help some of you out there who are curious or on the hunt for your own. Also, this really does bother me when I am looking at it in my video. So I need to figure out how to fix that. Before I get started, I want to share with you guys some of the discoveries I found. I just showed you guys the window. That seriously just happened right as I was going to start filming. And I was like, oh my gosh, let me show you guys. So I also want to show you my discovery that I asked you guys to look for in one of my previous videos. A couple of you found it, but some of you didn't see the new discovery that I found. I did my RV tour video and in this video, I didn't know about this until one day I was cleaning my dining area and I decided to to clean the covers of my dining area and I discovered this. New, no, not they're not new. <laughs> Vintage cushions. So I already knew about this, you guys have seen this, but these cushions were brown. This is so cute, you guys. That was the thing that I was hoping some of you would find. Some of you did say it was the seat cushions. Thank you guys for playing along in my games. <laughs> um, I like to do stuff like that from time to time. Some of you found it. Good job. So comment below. What do you think? Do you think I should keep the brown cushions, which were the cushion covers, or keep the original orange cushions i think the orange is so cute and i'm thinking that maybe what i'll do is i will keep the orange cushions and if they get kind of messed up over time then i will cover them but i definitely want to appreciate the new not the new <laughs> i keep saying the new the vintage look and this is like one of the things that i love there is one minor kind of damage part but it's not a big deal and it's just in this area so that's that's pretty good, I'd say. So comment below what you think. It's tea time. My mom just made me tea. I drink a lot of tea. I just discovered this in the garage. This, I discovered it, but I bought it. I thrifted it last year. I think someone said it's a cheese platter. I use it for other things back then, and now I'm using it as my tea tray and miscellaneous items. <laughs> have notes because I searched a lot and I went through an interesting process for finding my RV. You guys may have seen that I actually flew to Oregon from California. I originally was looking for my RV here in California. I was not planning to buy my RV in another state. Just me. You <laughs> look at how much dirt there was. All clean. It's so good. She puts lemon 
and honey in it. I was living in a Mini Cooper for eight months before finding my RV. During that time, I was doing a little bit of searching in North Carolina, but I knew that I wanted to drive back to California because I had my seats in the back of my car taken out and they were in my mom's garage. So I needed to drive back to California, put my seats in the car and sell my car. And then I needed to look for an RV here in California. So I did do a little bit of searching online in 2020 but uh, most of my searching when I was like I am getting this RV for sure this year and I'm ready now was in 2021 that sounded really weird <laughs> so there were two barriers one was COVID I know that a lot of things shut down last year because of COVID but now it's 2021 something started to open back up in the beginning of the year so thankfully when i started to search the rv shops were actually open i don't know if they ever closed down last year i'm assuming some of them many of them may have i don't know if car dealerships and rv places did close but thankfully i was able to go in and look at rvs i also was concerned about like going to look at rvs especially if it was a private seller if it was being sold out of their home but also at rv dealerships because we're going into these small spaces who knows how if they even sanitize or what when you're looking around so i don't think they do but <laughs> um so but that brings me to my second barrier which was price when i actually did go in to look at some of uh, the rvs that i had on my list at first those rvs were not class c's for one and they were very expensive which is my second barrier price <laughs> so um covid and price a lot of RVs during COVID were being sold and that's because a lot of people were either losing their homes, losing their jobs, both, or just trying to save more money during COVID. So some people were choosing to move into RVs. In the beginning of COVID, from what I've heard from some dealers, sales, there were non-existent. But as COVID started to progress and people started losing their jobs, they were not able to pay rent, things like that. A lot of RV dealers started seeing an increase in sales because people were trying to find a way to live cheaply. So that's a great thing for rv dealers but not a good thing for us who are looking for rvs i think if you were searching for an rv before 2020 around 2019 and before that you probably were able to search online and find tons of rvs for sale and decent prices but after covid started really progressing i think a lot of people started to pick up on this and the people who were selling the RVs were able to sell them at a higher price and they were able to sell them quickly because people were really snatching them up. So when I was looking, I was concerned. Those were my two barriers, COVID and price. Thankfully, shops were open. A lot of people, I think, wanted to keep their RV because they either needed to move into it or when they did sell it, they were being sold very quickly and the reason why people were buying them very quickly was because they wanted to find another way to travel that was covid safe they could be self-quarantined in the rv but do very i guess covid safe travel like go to parks and go to you know like national parks see some nature and just kind of drive around in your rv or just live this was a great way to travel during covid but it was also a barrier for me <laughs> can you hear the drummers i don't know if you guys can hear them but they always remind me of high school because i was a cheerleader in high school and whenever i hear drums like a marching band or drum line or something like that <laughs> i just immediately think about cheerleading because those were my cheer days yes it did become a challenge for me as i was doing my search the first place that i searched 
was Craigslist. That is my go-to place to search for things when I am in need of something. <laughs> I like to look on Craigslist. I would highly recommend Craigslist for your search be as a like even just as a starter because you can compare prices you can see what people are selling it for on a private basis from their homes and you can see a wide range of rvs so there are used rvs some dealerships post newer rvs on there you can get an idea of what kind of rv you want if you're still figuring that out you can get an idea of what types of rvs sell for around what price range i think it's a great idea to check craigslist as a little starting point i know that some people have a problem with craigslist because you can get some scams and stuff like that but i think that if you go into it with some common sense i guess and just like being aware that there are scammers out there just keep those things in mind especially if you're looking for a vintage rv you can find some used things on there after i decided to venture out of craigslist i decided to look up facebook marketplace and i ended up selling my car on facebook marketplace so i decided that since i'm i sold my car on facebook marketplace why not look for my rv on facebook marketplace too i think you can find your rv on facebook marketplace the only thing is that my first barrier was coming into play was that not a lot of people were posting rvs and they're not something that are just posted all the time you know it's not often that people are like oh i'm gonna sell my rv especially during covid people were selling RVs but they were getting snatched up very quickly so when I was looking on Facebook marketplace my big challenge was that there weren't a lot of RVs being posted in my area very often so I also decided to do some Google searches and I would recommend you just do a quick Google search I ended up venturing out I did a Google search and I decided to find some RV dealers in my area and there are two ways you could do this one is by doing a simple Google search and the other way is by going on Google Maps and searching RV or RV dealer or I don't know do some search terms you can find some RV dealerships in your area or whatever area you're looking to look at so like I said on Facebook marketplace and Craigslist as well I found that as I was searching and as the days were going on I noticed that people weren't really posting RVs as often it's not like clothing or even like cars really because even with cars People are selling those more often than RVs, you know, even just from their home. So it's easier to find a car than it is an RV if you're being, I guess, very particular. You should be particular. You are buying a home on wheels, so you should be buying what you want. I found a couple of RV dealerships online and I ended up going. I searched RV dealer and then the city. And then I decided to venture out to different cities because in my city, like close by, there were just like maybe two um, in the very, very very close vicinity of where I'm staying right now so I decided to venture out a little bit further and I found a couple of RV dealerships so I'm going to name a few websites that I looked at first by just doing a basic Google search of RVs for sale I decided to make a little note tab in my phone so I could keep track of what type of RVs I'm looking at, the prices, where they're located. I made notes and I copy and pasted those links in a little note app on my phone. This is random. This I don't recommend, but <laughs> I'm just gonna share it with you because it was the first thing I had written in my notes tab. By saying I don't recommend, what I mean is that these are just what I wrote in my notes tab when I found them. It's not that I know much about these RV dealerships. CordeliaRV.com, I looked on there and and I saw very new RVs and at first I was looking for class B RVs because I wanted an RV that could fit into a normal parking spot I wanted to be able to do a lot of stealth camping and all that kind of stuff so I was looking for class B RVs class B RVs are very expensive some of them you can find them that cost like a hundred thousand dollars and you can find some that are within the fifty thousand dollar range but that was still expensive <laughs> and this was when i was looking for a class b rv before i switched over to a class c i put my vintage curtains up but i just wanted to 
ask you guys if you have seen my RV tour video comment below how much you think I paid for my RV if you haven't seen it yet don't click out just yet um, you can watch that at the end of the video I will link it in the description box but if you've seen my RV already I just want to know how much do you think I paid for it because I will be making an upcoming video sharing with you how much I spent on my RV and I'm really curious what you guys think comment below beachcitiesrv.com they are in california giantrv.com they are in california as well i ended up going to the giant rv location and i got to drive my first ever rv and it was a class b it was a see now i can't even remember i had this idea of my like dream rv it was a class b pleasure way I wanted a pleasure way and those are like a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> but I had the honor of going to the RV dealership to look at it because I had never seen them in real life like I've never walked into an RV before so I found an RV I went to look at it and I walked in I looked around it was very nice very new I got to drive it around so that was really fun I highly recommend if you are curious about getting an RV try and drive one first <laughs> because uh, then you'll uh, be able to to gauge if it's something you really want to do yes I got to test drive that RV it was very nice but it was definitely way outside of my price range Okay, yeah, I can see the um, the restroom is in the back. Oh yeah, I've seen this one online. I personally like the other one better. Yeah. I do think the other one is better, even though I think many people would go for this because it has the bathroom in the back, bathroom in the back and it's it has the cabinets back there. I just feel like it doesn't have a homey. Yeah, it doesn't feel homey. It just looks like a massage place yeah. or, a, or a doctor's office. I don't yeah. know, I don't like it. Yeah, I do think the other one is better. Yeah, it doesn't have that homey feel like the other one. I also searched on happydaysrv.com, rvt.com, rvusa.com. I took that two hour drive to try and buy this RV. I'll link it below if you want to watch it. Thankfully, they refunded me. This is the RV that I bought for like two minutes in Bakersfield. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Unfortunately, it broke down and thankfully I hadn't left the people's house yet and they were nice enough to refund me because they felt so bad about it. <laughs> We had done a test drive and it drove around really well and then we got back to their house and left it running and it just shut down about two minutes after I signed the paperwork. I was so sad because it was such a nice RV. After having the failed attempt at buying my RV um, through Facebook Marketplace and then it broke down, <laughs> I ended up looking again and I was starting to feel a bit discouraged because I had been searching and searching and I was just not finding anything. There were not many RVs being updated. A lot of them were like really old and like I would have had to do a lot of tearing apart and upgrading. Okay, you guys, I am at another RV place. Let's see how this goes.
this RV place and I looked at this one. I came to check out another one. This is huge. It's um I'm realizing it seems a bit too big. <laughs> I came to look at another one. It's really long. I ended up finding one of the bigger sites for selling RVs and I had been looking on this website for a while before I decided to actually go for it. I ended up going on rvtrader.com and I know it's it's considered I guess a bigger website for finding an RV and I am really glad that I decided to continue searching but not only hey Hello, <laughs> I'm good how are you doing? Not only did I continue searching, but I decided to broaden my location. I decided to search the surrounding states. I was open to Arizona, I was open to other states, but more so I was open just to look and see, like what could I find? On rvtrader.com, you're able to search certain locations and I saw this RV. And the thing is, I think I saw this RV before going to Bakersfield to buy the other RV but it was a completely off the table deal because it was in another state and at that time I was like I'm not gonna go to Oregon to buy an RV like but after that I was like kind of discouraged like oh my gosh I can't find one and when I saw this again after having bought the other RV for like two seconds I was like this one I would be willing to fly for <laughs> so as long as everything was good and sound and it was running I was able to drive it back and I didn't have to do a bunch of repairs inside then I was willing to take that leap when I saw it again I don't know like what clicked in my mind I am a little crazy <laughs> so but I was like you know what I'm gonna go for it so I reconsidered first I called the dealership and I was able to talk to them about it I told them that I was in California and would have to fly to Oregon to get it they told me that they would stay open later for me if I did do that we had a conversation about it actually I called back and they called me back like a couple times I ended up booking my flight that same day seriously I think I booked that flight within like 30 minutes of talking to them and I was on a plane within an hour <laughs> like no not not within an hour because I had to actually like take an uber to the airport but yes I flew that same day even though back then I wanted this smaller RV that took up less space and was more like a stealthy RV looking back at it it seems very like sterile I don't know <laughs> not like sterile as in clean like but like more like kind of like hospital like like it doesn't feel like it has that character I mean if someone gave me a pleasure way I'm gonna take it like I'm not gonna be like I'm oh, sorry it's sterile <laughs> but what I mean is like now that I have this RV it's like so spacious I feel like I am not like confined even though yes I'm confined into a space like it's a small space but looking back at that RV that I originally wanted I'm happy with my bed that bed in the pleasure way it's not like my bed and speaking of my bed I managed to make 
my own curtain right there there was a curtain up there before but it was like ripped and old so I bought some fabric from Walmart and it was in a like a two dollar section fabric thing it was like two dollars for two yards so I made that curtain I'm planning to make curtains for the side windows as well I also put up my curtains I need to put up the top curtains today and I have some projects that I'm going to be doing so I'm excited about that. I do think that you will find the RV that is for you if you really put time and energy into it and the right one will come. The thing that I like about RV Trader is when you're on the website you can actually search through different means. For example, they have class A, class B, and class C. They also have the towable travel trailers. Another thing that I like is that you can search the make model or like a keyword. You can put in the zip code and a radius within 500 miles or you can do nationwide. So they go from a range of 10 miles which is the lowest range that you can search all the way up to 500 miles or nationwide. I really enjoyed being able to search in that way. It made the process a lot easier for me. You can find a variety of different listings. Some of them are private sellers. Some of them are dealerships. You can also rent RVs. You can sell your RV and you can find RV dealers. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I just want to share what worked for me. I did decide to fly to Oregon to buy it because I did feel like I needed to broaden my search and it was becoming a bit of a challenge to find an RV at this time in the game. As things open up more and people kind of go to their normal way of life again, a lot of people who bought RVs during the pandemic are going to be selling their RVs later because maybe they either realized that they didn't want them or that you know they used it for their pandemic travel and they're over it or they bought it on a whim and then they don't think they need it for the future so if any of you guys are looking for an RV or thinking about it for the future I do think it's going to be a good time in the future because I do think a lot of pandemic buyers are going to be post pandemic sellers <laughs> yeah I do think there's going to be an increase in available RVs now that people are gonna be going back to work and their normal way of life who knows maybe I'll maybe I'm wrong rvtrader.com is where I found my RV so if any of you guys are looking I ended up finding it from a dealership and it was the only like really vintage one they had they don't have tons of vintage RVs even if you look on my video when I flew to Oregon to buy it you can see the lot like in the window you can see that all their RVs were either pretty new they did have a pleasure way so it was really funny um, because I was like looking from my bathroom window <laughs> and uh, as I was using the toilet I could see this pleasure way in the back and I'm just like huh that's so funny like that's the RV that I originally wanted and now I'm in the RV that I really want and that I purchased another thing that I did try I did download offer up and I didn't have much success on there like I had no success on there actually I would message people and they would not respond to me and so I don't know if any of you guys have had this problem on offer up I don't know if it's just the people who are posting RVs on there but I had messaged a ton of people about their RV and none of them got back to me so yeah that was really weird let me know if you guys have any issues with that on offer up or if it's just the RV people <laughs> I think some of the RV postings on OfferUp were scams, maybe, just like you can find on Craigslist. So just be aware of that. Don't just try and transfer money to people and have them tell you they're going to deliver it to you or something. <laughs> I hope this video helped some of you guys get a look into my RV hunt. I'm so excited to share this RV journey with you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video. It really does help me out and supporting my channel. If you want to leave a comment, let me know if I should keep the orange cushions or put them back to the brown that they were in my RV tour video. If you would like to support my channel, you can become a patron on Patreon or you can support me through Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. All the links are located in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Another reason, oh there's a plane.